Uh, welcome or welcome back, and I need help at c squared. In this example, we need to find the derivative of f of x equals x cubed, and I'm going to use the limit process. I'm going to use this formula you see here, which says f prime of x, which means the derivative of f is equal limit and delta x approach to zero of f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x. So the first thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to evaluate f of x plus delta x for our function, which is x cubed. So that will be x plus delta x cubed. So here you may want to do this multiplication, or you can use the shortcut here, which I will show you. This will be x cubed plus 3x squared delta x plus 3x delta x squared plus delta x cubed. So what I use here is a shortcut, or you can use the binomial theorem or Pascal triangle in case you, you want to uh, do it that way. So now we can go back in the f prime, and we're going to have limit when delta x approach to 0 of x cubed plus 3x squared delta x plus 3x delta x squared plus delta x cubed minus f of x minus x cubed over delta x. And now let's see, we should have some simplification and yes, x cubed is gone. And then this limit becomes limit when delta x approach to zero. And if you notice, you have delta x here, delta x squared here, and delta x cubed here. So we can factor out the delta x. And then we're going to have 3x squared plus 3x delta x plus delta x squared over delta x. So these two delta x cancel out. So this limit becomes limit when delta x approach to zero of 3x squared plus 3x delta x plus delta x squared. But now let's see what's happened with this limit when delta x approach to zero. So this approach to zero, that means this product will be 0, and obviously if this is 0, 0 squared will be 0. So the only thing left here is going to be 3x squared. The derivative in this case is 3x squared, the derivative of the function x cubed. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on c squared for more help. Thank you.